Hello my dear friends, I'm Senia. Welcome to my channel Saint Petersburg Me. And today I'm here on the Vitebsk railway station, uh, which is in Saint Petersburg, not in Vitebsk. This um, this uh, title, this name marks the uh, the direction of the trains that are going to Belarus and to the direction of Belarus. As you can see, uh, this railway station is very very old. Its design is very 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 old, like in fr like from the 18th century or even maybe 19th century. So. Today I'm going to Vitebsk, <laughs> from Vitebsk uh, railway station in St. Petersburg. So I will um, try to film some train trip for you, but you know, um, I think the train will be fully, fully occupied by people. Uh, and I'm shy, still shy, to film in front of like audience, you know, to film myself in front of the audience. So let's see what I will, <laughs> what I will, will get. <laughs> okay. But first, let's have a look at the railway station. The Vitebsk railway station is the oldest in the city as well as in Russia. The station that you see on your screens now is a modern station that was built in 1904. The first wooden building was constructed in 1837. In 1852 it was replaced with a brick building because of the increasing flow of passengers. As you can see, this um, this railway station is designed like a very, very old building, uh, and uh, this uh, station um, is the favorite place of uh, filmmakers who film their movies, historical movies here, very, very often. So, very beautiful. So my my carrier is 15 number 15 or carriage carriage uh, is number 15 and here is only one oh my god it's the first the first carriage here and I have to <laughs> have to walk uh, to the 15th okay. Uh -huh. uh, the uh, the thing is that I will have to lift my my um, uh, my bag, which is very heavy, and I will have to ask somebody to do that because, like you know, this is like um, even 
um, you can see the the level of the train and the level of this thing is like the same and somewhere there this level like drops of this thing drops and um, I will have to lift my my suitcase with the help of some man I think oh my god oh you can see very beautiful no wonder filmmakers uh, love absolutely love this this railway station just see just look it looks it feels like I'm in the 19th century you know <laughs> Just look at this. Look. Wow. And this is railway station. Like operating railway station. Clock. Oh, Swiss clock. Can you see it? No, you you not. But it's like Swiss. It's a super long train. You can see people standing in line in there. And it's, you know, like, it's uh, the uh, sixth carriage. Less than a half of the train. So, this is my suitcase. Rather big, you know. It's big and heavy. I had to buy some more like presents and I uh, took a bottle of champagne here which I got from my employer as a New Year's gift and I decided to take it um, like to my mom so it's heavy for me it's heavy uh, but you know the the good news is that uh, the platform this thing is platform apparently like it doesn't it looks like it doesn't drop down Whew. it's like on the other side of this train when the platform is like the high platform is short and it drops down and then it's just like a ground platform it here you can see that it's like a little bit lifted uh, off the ground um, to, for people to to be more comfortable to to climb up the stairs uh, so okay let's go and now it's it's like I don't know which which carriage it is but you can see the uh, the end of the train is somewhere there okay So this is my carriage and I really really I'm really really happy that the platform is lifted and I will not have to climb the stairs and I also very happy that there are a lot of men here maybe somebody of them um, will help me I hope and in Vitebsk uh, my mom and my brother will uh, will um, meet me by the train but in Vitebsk I think uh, they will have the platform maybe uh, like going down like I was showing you oh and they have a lifting something oh that is so nice and clever unfortunately uh, oh fortunately I'm lucky to do all the lifting by myself And uh, this type of carriage is called Platzkart. As you can see, there are no doors, and uh, they have uh, 
the seats and the places for people um, on the side like side places uh, this um, will uh, fold and people will have a flat surface to sleep on like uh, birth I think it, it's called birth bird I don't I don't remember uh, so and uh, the second place is here so the uh, lowest the lower uh, place will be the same as uh, the the upper so people are now sitting and then they will be sleeping at night and also um, there are other type uh, types of carriages which are called coupé uh, and uh, those uh, carriages have um, only Places for four people, not for six as Platzkart, uh, but uh, for four people, and uh, they have doors, doors there, so you can you can slide, you can slide them, and um, be like private, a little bit four of you private, <laughs> and there are no uh, places for people on the side, like side places. There are no such places uh, in coupé uh, carriages only in Platzkart so today tonight I'm traveling by Platzkart in Platzkart uh, so it's a little bit cheaper than coupé uh, and here it is uh, here I have a shelf for my um, shawl uh, I think to hang my, my jacket and here how it is so here is the water heater and um, it's about 90 degrees now so you can have tea or coffee and I got such a cup it's a glass with with a thing that holds it and here also they have a stand with um, with their goods uh, which you can buy it's not for free you must buy it so here are some uh, chocolates some um, some cookies some pastries so and water and coca-cola and um, chips the same as I get to my Russian box Thank you very I got tea here and I will pour some here and I will tell you uh, a little bit about this cup this cup is like a symbol of uh, Russian trains and uh, like former Soviet Union countries trains uh, you get a glass and such a holder like it's a metal holder and it's like a symbol and many people uh, would like to buy it uh, I don't know if you can buy it in the train but uh, of course you can buy it in some gift shop shops um, and um, other places in Russia order it online um, so I got it for free um, like so if you order tea uh, with this cup uh, you must pay but <laughs> the uh, woman who works here like a um, carriage attendance uh, she gave me this cup for free because I didn't uh, have tea I have my own tea so I made tea at my work 
and I just poured some water from the heater um, so she said that I don't have to pay for it so I have a symbol <laughs> train of train for free Each, uh, each seat has a mattress here and uh, when it will be night I will just spread it here spread it here and uh, I have also a my set of linen for bed and they have a pillow so there is blue is pillow and so linen I will use it for for a night to sleep and here is my bed for tonight <laughs> So here is the toilet, so here you have a sink, a toilet, paper, some covers for this thing, toilet paper, um, towels, um, uh, soap, here this, here it is water. It's not soap, it's um, for hands, antiseptic, I forgot. And uh, here is the, um, the button. <laughs> I didn't meant to do that. <laughs> okay, so quite, quite comfor comfortable. my bed for today this is my blanket and they uh, have real blankets like this uh, you can just go there <laughs> upstairs <laughs> and get it so good night and now I will have to change because it is getting a little bit stuffy in the carriage and besides to sleep so we need um, a little bit more uh, comfy clothes on me not the clothes that I um, wear like uh, on the streets in the office so Frankly speaking, I'm bad at falling asleep on the train. It's really, really hard to me to fall asleep because several people can be snoring. Train is making uh, sounds which like very, very disturbing sounds. And it's a challenge to me to spend a night on the train. 